For two years, there have been calls to curb crime and rowdy teenagers in Sea Isle City. And today, the Beach Towns Council it voted to crack down. It adopted a curfew for kids during the busy summer season. The council also voted in a backpack ban today as well. They voted that in. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ryan Hughes live now in Sea Isle City with reaction to all of this. Hey, Ryan. Hey there, Natasha. You can see behind me, it is a quiet and calm afternoon here in CIL City. But as you mentioned, the busy summer season, it's now only a few weeks away. And those summer nights, they will end earlier now for teenagers after the council adopted that curfew unanimously this morning. That vote, 5 to 0. And this curfew will ban anyone under the age of 18 from being outside in any public place unsupervised. It will take effect every day of the week from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. AM BEGINNING MAY 15TH THROUGH SEPTEMBER 15TH. NOW THERE ARE SOME EXCEPTIONS FOR MINORS WITH A PARENT OR GUARDIAN AND TEENS RETURNING HOME FROM A SUMMER JOB. COUNCIL SAYS THE GOAL HERE IS TO CRACK DOWN ON VANDALISM AND ROWDY GROUPS OF TEENS ON THE PROMENADE. TEENS WHO VIOLATE THIS CURFEW, THEY WILL RECEIVE TWO WARNINGS FROM POLICE BEFORE A PARENT IS CONTACTED. BUT PARENTS WHO ALLOW THEIR KIDS TO BREAK CURFEW they could be faced with fines. Here's reaction to the new ordinance. I think it's a great thing. I think it's uh, something that they should have done maybe a year or two ago because things started getting uh, worse back then. 30 kids in a group take up the whole boardwalk from one side to the other. Can't get through, you know, same thing, middle of JFK, crossing the street. They'll just hang out and stop and block traffic. So it's probably a good thing. And this morning, the council also passed another ordinance banning backpacks on the promenade and also on the beach at nighttime during that same time period. The council says the goal is to try and prevent teens from hiding alcohol in the backpacks and to also keep everyone safe. Warnings will be issued, but adults who violate that ban, they will also be issued possible fines. For live this afternoon in CIO City, Ryan Hughes. Jessica, back to you. All right, Ryan, thank you for that.